Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at flipping data around a bar chart in Microsoft Excel to make things read a little bit better. I've got some data here, the states of Australia and their estimated population in 2023. You'll notice that the states are in alphabetical order. I'm going to insert a chart. I'm going to recommend a chart. I'm just going to choose this bar chart here and click OK. The standard bar chart has data in the opposite order. So you can see Australian Capital Territories down here, whereas it was at the top of the list here. Western Australia is at the bottom here. It's at the top over here. Well, we can change that around. So first of all, I'm going to select over the axis that I want to change. Right click and choose Format Axis. Here in this little bar chart area, by clicking on that, we can then reverse the categories. So we're going to click here on Categories in reverse order. And that just puts Australian Capital Territory at the top and West Australia at the bottom so that the chart actually matches the look of the data in our table. Now it's also possible to flip the bars and the category axis around. So in this case, I'm going to select over the horizontal axis. Again, right click and choose Format Axis. Again, we're going to this little bar chart here. And here, if we choose values in reverse order, then we're going to flip the chart around so that the bars are on the left and the categories themselves are on the right. Before we leave this chart, let's fix the fact that these bars are pretty narrow and this is going to work regardless of what your chart looks like. By clicking on the data series itself, we're getting into Format Data Series, but of course we could always just right click this and choose Format Data Series. Again, we're going to this little bar chart icon. We'll open up Series Options and what we need to do is to decrease the gap width because the gap width is controlling the space here. If we make the gap width smaller, then the bars are going to be bigger. Remembering that when you select things in Microsoft Excel, typically you will select from left to right and not right to left like every other program on Earth. Let's put in 25% for our gap width and you'll see now that our bars are much wider because our gaps are much narrower. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.